On an episode of Frenemies, Trisha comes out with a rant against Bob Saget's comedy, claiming that he should be cancelled and that she knows someone who was personally victimized by him. When Ethan explains that Bob's comedy has always been done for shock value, Trisha insists that Bob should then apologize for all of it. I don't actually I don't think he has any grounds to sue you because what you're alleging isn't something very specific. So I don't think he could sue you. I'm not alleging. I'm saying it's gross. The joke he made about. Let's watch. Okay. But this will be up forever is what I'm saying. So then the lawyers will probably give you a letter to say take this down on what you just edited out. Well, no, because I think the context of the conversation is important because I disagree. I don't think you should put this video up. Also, is litigation different than lawyers? They said this is so-and-so from Bob Saget's litigation. It means they're not going to sue you. Don't they have to do a cease and desist? No, they don't have to do anything. They can sue you anytime they want. I mean, I'll take it. I have lawyers on a retainer, I guess, so whatever. Could you imagine I go to court fighting this? Well, I don't like I, the joke he made. It's disgusting. I don't think that's like a crime. So, no, I don't. I, don't, I say it to the judge. I, I'm that's telling gross. you. Okay. I can always snip it if I need to, but I don't. I don't think it's like that. Okay, here we go. Freaking thrilled that people are getting called out. We started with Weinstein. Um, should have started with Woody Allen, who got away with so much disgusting crap. So I'm gonna keep calling it out, and I'm so glad Bob Saget is now on the table because. Story so, Bob pause. Okay. I do have, it's not my story to tell, but I do have, like, a personal friend that was, like, a close friend of mine that had an incident with Bob Saget. That wasn't a good incident. Mm -hmm. So, I do have some sort of personal, I guess, like, connection to this. Like, a lot of times people get called out and, like, it's not that I don't call out everybody, but this one I was like, wow, okay, good. Like, people are, like, noticing this. You know what I mean? Because this girl had a, a thing, but she got silenced real quick. Shock comic. Like, every his whole career is... Surround about saying of course, shock and but I humor. I do think there's like a line that you don't cross. Bob Saget's whole career is jokes like this. He can't apologize okay, but for it's this one joke. That's He's like gonna have to that apologize about Shane, for his whole about career. There are some things that you just don't joke about, dude. It, you don't understand. Every fucking thing he says is something this offensive. And then Literally. you should be canceled because it's okay, like perpetuating like this whole. It's a I'm whole saying, other he world. You can't just apologize for this one joke. You don't understand. Well, it's he his should. Whole career. So if that if those are out there and this is what his career is, and I have every right to comment on it. However, Trisha has known about Bob's shock comedy for years and has even defended it over the years, and encouraged her ex-boyfriend, Jason Nash, to behave similarly in his own career. I said for Jason's Patreon that he should go dirty, like he should be like Bob Saget, like full house on the YouTube, and stand up on the like, Patreon, like really dirty and like, That's naked. <laughs> Jason sometimes will say like, dirty stuff in his vlog that will never make his vlog, and I always wish he'd keep it in, and I was like, cause he'll like, shock me, I'll be like, what? And then I'll be like, oh. Nobody wants to see. I do. Bob, people loved when Bob Saget started doing like dirty stand up. That was like a big oh. thing. All right. You're like Bob Saget. You're like clean on Full House, but then once it comes to stand up, it's like watch out, just dirty. By the way, everyone says Bob Saget stand up is dirty. It's really not that dirty. I'm just like, oh, he's so filthy on stage. And like, I used to watch him all the time and I was like, it's not that bad. 